to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. Today with Jeremy, we're going to be talking about Bob Marley, Jeremy. Yeah, Did you why know Why wouldn't we talk about Bob Marley I mean, on the we channel? look like guys that should be a absolute authority I... on Bob Marley. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to talk about it right after this. Jeremy, and I, once again, I want to influence you. I want to encourage you. I want implore to tell you, you. Implore you. I like that one, too. Employ you. We'll employ, employ you. We'll pay you money <laughs> to subscribe to this YouTube channel and Facebook, like it, and right. all those things. Do all the stuff. Uh, and also get involved in the comments as well. Give that thumbs up. Never thumbs tell down. Tell us your first Bob that. Marley memory. There you go. When did you come across Bob, and how did it make you feel? Can't help but feel happy when you listen to Bob. It's no. kind of like just happy music. It is actually really And why are we really on jivey. the Acoustic Shop channel talking about Bob Marley, you ask? Well, before we get to that, actually, I was going to tell oh, them demo. also. Okay, there's a demo. There's, there's a, a demo at the very end. There's the an entire song. performance of this on another video. And you if know you the want routine. to skip to it, you know the routine. There is a tone sample of this guitar by itself at the very end of the video. You can get there with a link down below. Which, once blah, again, blah, 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 brings blah. me to why are we talking about <laughs> Bob Marley at the Acoustic Shop? That's a good, good job, Jer. Uh, why? Because Guild came out with this new guitar, and it's actually kind of a really cool story. Um... There was a guitar that is seen in lots and lots of photos of Bob Marley uh, at his home with a A20 Guild guitar. So is, is at home songwriting guitar. That was the one that he wrote many of the big classics from. It was his favorite guitar for writing music with. They decided that they wanted to get with the Marley family and talk about doing a kind of reintroducing of that guitar. And I think what the family and Guild kind of decided was they wanted to make an affordable guitar to get people getting into the music that love his music as well. Uh, a, a really good playing guitar and sounding guitar with a lot of extra features at a really good price. And they introduced the A20 as this version. Now, it's not exactly the same as what he had played, but it is inspired. They make sure to say by that, that yes. inspired by that original guitar. And there's a lot of the same sort of features. It does have a lot of the guild characteristics. Um, in this case, it does have a solid spruce top with a laminate sides and back. Um, mahogany. Mahogany, correct. Inch and three quarter nut width, bone nut width, but it goes a little further than that. It does have the pick guard that has a Bob Marley signature on it, as well as a really cool gig bag. Now, this Very is nice something I'm really excited about for Guild. And honestly, if I was to have one pick, if Guild, if you're watching right now, Which they are, why sure. did you not do gig bags of this quality with your other guitars? There are $800 there are and $900 guitars that don't have a bag at all. I would love to have this bag come with that. And that so that was a go. cool uh, upgrade. Like I said, they wanted to make an affordable guitar that could get people into it. But also, they have the Geek Bike bag uh, along with it, which is a great bargain yeah. at this price point. Plays really well. It and does. It actually sounds pretty Very good. Very big surprise for me. This guitar comes in at uh, just under $400, I believe. Very cool. And I really expected not much out of this. I'm going to be straight honest with you. They told me about this guitar. I know there's a market for it. In fact, you... I was personally you. gave me a lot of grief about uh, it. That's not really our uh, said, demo, but you said, "Did you?" Uh, this was the phone call. I was at home. Jeremy calls. Did you really buy a bunch of Bob Marley guitars? And I said, "Did you intend to do that?" Yeah, or was intend it an accident? to do it. That was it. Intend or was it an accident? And I said, "Yes, I did." I knew there'd be a market for it, but here's what was a big surprise. They arrived uh, just this week. We pulled them out of here. In honesty, these are some of the better uh, guitars that we've seen from Guild in a long time. Uh, quality control was at its best right now. We didn't have Set one issue really with nice. any of them. They came in really, really nice. So kudos to you, Guild, uh, for that. Honestly, a really great guitar. When I heard DJ Kelly play it, I wasn't <laughs> so sure that it was going to be the guitar for us. And it you might guys, just be his technique. You guys, I think Jerry's planning on making a video here soon again. I'm going to duet with with DJ Kelly. I think you guys, uh, uh, editing team, we throw a clip of that in there sure right now. Put oh. 
If it doesn't inspire you to be a fabulous guitar player, then well, you're normal. Make you want one of these guitars. Then you are normal. <laughs> but it also comes with a poster, a Bob Marley poster, it does. Uh, some pics. Tons of extras. Kind of the Bob gig Marley's. bag's great. There's a certificate in there. There is pics. There is a poster. The signature on here. A cool label has the uh, lion uh, on, on it. And the gig bag. But here's where it's even cooler. They also partnered with the same company that we did with our sustainability effort, the shop sustainable effort, which is a company called One Tree Planted. And every one of these guitars that is sold, they will plant one tree uh, in its place, which is, again, a sustainable effort. The bag itself is a sustainable bag. The cool thing with that There's is... There's all kinds of extras there that are very... If this is to that. bought at our store, they're going to plant a tree. We're going to plant five trees, so... Well, well one. One. Because this is a sta sustainable, sustainable Okay, guitar, so right? we'll be... So yeah, we'll be planting one tree. Maybe, or five. Yeah. I'll look we'll into, look it, into it Make sure how they source it. Make sure how they bit. source it and how, how they did that. But, again, how cool is that? So, under $400... This thing does play extremely well and actually sounds pretty darn good. This, again, there wasn't one person in our staff that did not give me grief when they found out that I was going to order these. But you ordered a they, number of them too. So. I ordered quite a few and they all looked at me and said, no, this is not a good idea. And every single person that it, from our staff that picked one up said, this is surprisingly a great guitar. So. Again, I know that sounds really weird, and maybe it's kind of crude, but this is literally how we, I want to make sure you understand, we're not always just trying to sell guitars at people. We recognize when things aren't quite what we would want them to be, and we want to try to always portray that to you guys out there so you know that we're not just selling uh, stuff. But we also don't want to sell stuff we don't believe in, so the majority of the things Here's, that we do, we so we do talk about it. Clear and transparent. Here's how it really went down. John, we had had a number of Guild instruments that had quality control issues that we were mailing back, and for a while we were shipping back about half of the guitars they were sending to us. Absolutely. We're going right back to them because we said we can't put this out on the floor. And so John said, I'm calling them up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it out with them. And then I get an email about an hour later where he's bought like 20 Bob Marley guitars. And I'm thinking, wow, John, way to stand up to them. And <laughs> Either that or they've got a great salesperson on their nope. team. We had a long talk and we talked about quality control issues and making sure that stuff that made its way in here became better. And then and he goes, by the way, have you heard of the Bob Marley guitar? <laughs> well, like, well, I have you on the phone. Yes, and I think what the discussion was, we were trying to get things to get in more often and they said they could get us more of these in and I reiterated that they should fall in better quality control and honestly they have. Yeah. I warned them. Uh, and again, I, I, I don't want this to come off as a big complaint session, but we did warn them and said, if they come in and they're not what you're telling me they are, guess what? They're getting boxed up and going right back. Not one of the uh, the first four that we have got in stock uh, are going back. These are actually a really nice guitar, especially at their price point. So again, if you're a Thumbs Bob up, Marley guys. fan, you uh, that, that makes it super cool. If you just want a nice quality guitar at a good affordable price with the extra options, it's still a fabulous guitar choice. I still gotta say that's good salesmanship. Like if I would love customers to call to chew me out and then buy four or five guitars before they hang up with me. That, I, somehow that got turned I, around no, on there you. you go. Good job, John. It worked out in the end, so <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. It does have that retro look to it. The headstock is kind of just a plain, you know, nothing fancy on the front mm -hmm. of it. Just that black uh, satin. It's got a satin finish all around. Mm -hmm. uh, attractive looking guitar in general. Is it nothing super blingy about it, but just nope. an attractive... Just a good player guitar at an affordable price. And then the boost is the fact that there's the Marley tie. So again, if you're just looking for a great quality guitar at an affordable price, I think this is one you should put in there. Bonus, if you're a huge Marley fan, and you want it. So again, I think this applies to three different types of customers. Somebody who wants an inexpensive guitar, somebody who loves Bob so what, Marley and just wants all the is, cool stuff. This is and your message to the them? Okay, this so. is my message to you. Who? Who? Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> guys, with this guitar, you really don't have to worry about a thing because everything with it's going to be all right. Every little thing. I can't. I can't believe you just don't went worry there. about a thing, guys. Don't worry. It's a great guitar. <laughs> no, really good. Why don't you give us a tone demo, John? All right, uh, we'll let's pause here, and then we'll show some of the stuff that comes with it. Okay.
appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite one we've made so far. We've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's going to be even better. If you'd like to see that, <laughs> be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms. They're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it, and we'll see you on the next video.